Today I'm going to talk about the power of your mind. One day while I was in college, I was sitting in my Western Civilization One class, and then all of a sudden, my professor, Dr. King, started lecturing. He was sharing about the Colosseum in Rome, and he said something that perked my interest. He said that the Flavian Amphitheater. I was like, Flavian Amphitheater, is it not the Colosseum in Rome? I know the original name of the Colosseum in Rome is the Flavian Amphitheater. It was built during the, the, the time period of the Flavian dynasty. You know, and so I was very intrigued. I was intrigued. I wanted to learn more about my name. And that drew me into learning more about Greco-Roman history. Then I learned about a tribe of people called the Spartans. The Spartans is depicted in the movie 300. You know, Leonides and the 300 men at the Battle of Napoli. You know, that's the, 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 the Spartans that I'm talking about. I share that story to share this because there is no greater tribe of people that, that, that reminds me about the power of your mind than the Spartans do. You see, 80% of your success in life, it's going to be a result of your mind. 80% of the success in life is going to be as a result of your mind. That means you have to condition your mind. You have to get rid of wimpy thinking. You have to get rid of stinky thinking. And you have to condition your mind. Most people always hear me say that I stand for what? Some basic principles that mean honesty, integrity, love, and honor. And I stand for those principles because they are fundamental things to me. And if you do not stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. So you see, as you grow and as you develop and as you come become successful, the foundation in which you stand on has to be so strong, it's able to hold the weight of all what's going to be on top of it so you do not implode on yourself. I don't have vices. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do none of that. Why? Because as you become more successful, those vices erodes at that foundation. You see, as you could look and you see in the news where you have uh, footballers or athletes, star athletes, star actors, all of these people are plagued by the, some, the, the key vices of life, drug addictions and alcohol and all of that. And that ruins their entire career. That takes them from being under pinnacle of life and takes them all the way down to having nothing because of those vices. So that's why it's so important as you build your mind, you build your mind and fundamental principles, you build your mind and principles that you hold fast to, you build your mind and principles that as you grow and as you develop into the leader and the person that you're wanting to be, those principles help you to stand firm on the bedrock of success. Six. Those principles help you to stand firm on the bedrock of life and move forward. Your mind. <laughs> Your mind is so powerful as, as you cultivate and you develop your mind. Your mind takes you into places and takes you into avenues that you have never been before. I always tell my friends, you always want to break stereotypes. When people look at you, they will look at you by the color of your skin or where you're from in the world and they will stereotype you. They will tell you that they will profile you as being this or you do this or you do that. And you do never want to ever fall into any one stereotype of you. You always want to break that mold. So you want to break stereotypes. And no, there is no greater way to break stereotypes than developing your mind. There is no greater way that when you walk in and you see a banker and you look at a banker and you see them and you're like, whoa, is that they're a banker? Or you look at an investor and you look at somebody who owns a, a real, real estate empire and you the, the look of them and the way they speak and the way they, where they're from doesn't match up to what you're perceiving because of what society tells you. So you want to always go out and you always want to break stereotypes, not because you come from that side of the track. 
that doesn't mean that you cannot cultivate your mind and nurture your mind and be successful at what you do. Not because you became, you came from a poor family. That doesn't mean whenever you open up your mouth, people can't know that you're wise and wisdom flows out of you. But that can only happen when you cultivate and you develop your mind. You have to go out there and you have to be resolute. You have to develop your mind. You have to develop the art of communication. And as you develop the art of communication by getting rid of stinky thinking. Yes. When you read and you develop your mind, you get more stuff to talk about. You start talking about ideas instead of talking about people. You start talking about things that you've learned instead of talking about people. And when you start talking about things like that, you become a problem solver. And when you become a problem solver, then you become valuable to everybody else. Your value increases and as your value increases, everybody else is attracted to you. And that's the power of transforming your mind. You cannot be an athlete, you cannot be a personal trainer, you cannot be a cricketer, you cannot be an artist, you cannot be none of that and be successful if you don't learn to condition your mind. I got up this morning and I'm actually taping this bright and early. Most people are sleeping when I'm taping this. And I got up and I had to go do my workout. I had to go do some Spider-Man crawls. You know, that's working on my abs. And I'm telling you, every single bit of me hurts right now. I'm speaking right now, even my cheekbones are hurting because that's how rigorous my training has been for the last couple of days. One of my friends, he so wisely said in a message to me, he said, make sure you complete all of your workout. Make sure that you get everything done. Make sure you follow the trainer's advice. And you see, as I do that, then I'll get the results that I, that I want to get. You see, they didn't tell me that because of me not knowing that. They know that I know that. With the preponderance in the wealth of knowledge that I have, I know that. But you see, by someone else encouraging you and standing there with you, then it gives you that, that, that extra push that pushes you forward. So another area in which you, you're able to understand the power of your mind is that you have to surround yourself with like-minded people. And those like-minded people are, they will help develop your mind. Those like-minded people will help you get where you need to go. You may want to start a blog. You may want to start a YouTube channel. You may want to be a personal trainer. You may want to do different things in life. Do not give up on your dreams. Surround yourself with people that will encourage you. Not everything you do in life is going to come easy. You're going to need to YouTube a lot. You're going to need to learn a lot. You're going to need to get outside of your comfort zone. You're going to need to mess up, fall on your face and get back up again. But then as you cultivate and you develop that winning mindset, you will find that you'll become a winner. As you cultivate and you develop that winning mindset, you will find that you'll become a champion. As you cultivate and developing that winning mindset, you will find you will not trip over your sunbeams. Yes, you will not trip over your sunbeams. When I use the phrase that tripping over your sunbeams, I mean you will not trip over your negative stinky thinking. You see, as you develop your mind, your mind will become conditioned. So you don't talk yourself out of things anymore. When people say negative things to you, inside of you there's a giant that rises up and says, watch me. When somebody tells you you can't do something, all of a sudden the inside you rails up and say, let's get it done. Let's prove them wrong. Why? Because you no longer trip over your sunbeams. Because you're learning to cultivate your mind. Your mind is the most powerful thing that you have. The, your mind is your most valuable real estate. 
Your mind is something that can take you from nothing to something. Your mind is something that can take you from the back streets or the back alleys of an area into the most prominent of promenades. Your mind can take you to places and countries and, and, and cities and visiting with people. Even the good book says that your gifts will make room for you and bring you before great men. And that's what happens when you cultivate and you develop your mind. It will literally make room for you and bring you before great men, bring you before great women, bring you into circumstances where your knowledge and your understanding is needed, bring you in front of today's pharaohs, just like Joseph was brought to Pharaoh to interpret his dream, or Daniel was brought to King Nick Nebuchadnezzar to interpret his dream. It will cause you to be positioned in places that will catapult you forward. It will cause you to rise from the sense of obscurity to a point of influence. Yes, what kind of influence are you going to be? That answer to that question is initialed in the power of your mind. Go out there today and learn to cultivate your mind. Learn to read books. Learn to learn your craft. Learn to believe in yourself. Learn to get rid of stinky thinking. Learn that 80% of your success has to do with your mind. So go out and cultivate that mind today. Go out and have an awesome growth day. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the subscribe button below. And when you hit the subscribe button, don't forget to select the bell. Because by selecting the bell, it gives you a wonderful opportunity to be notified whenever I add a new video. Share this video. Share with your friends. Invite your friends to watch this video. Share what you're learning with your friends. Share what you're reading with your friends. The best way to master anything is to tell and teach others about it. God bless you.